Hey yo, it's the arm dude here. Hey, uh, in this video we're going to talk about Business Insights Explorer some more. Now I know you've heard me talk about this before in previous videos, but I'm going to start a new series of videos where I'm going to tell you how you can take some of your basic BIE views that comes with the software and customize them for your own specific purposes. So it's very easy to do. You don't have to be a programmer. You need to know how to point and click and all. So I'm going to take you through and walk you through the process. Now in this first video, we're going to concentrate on creating a BIE view that will show us all of our open contracts and they're going to be grouped by salesperson. So stay with me and let's go see how to create this BIE view. Alright, so we're going to create an open contracts by salesperson view out in our Business Explorer screens. So to do that, we're going to go into our ARM module and we're going to go down to the Explore folder and go into Contracts view. Now this will bring up our standard view. And the first thing we want to do is get rid of a number of fields. There's only certain columns we're going to include in this report. So things like division, billing method, those are things that we're not really going to want. Now I can either drag these columns off the screen or I can use this little device right here, click on this icon, and I can go in and select the different columns that I want to include in this particular uh, document. So let's go ahead and get rid of some of those that we're not going to use. I'm not going to use division, and I'm not going to use terms code, tax schedule, PO. I'm going to leave the contract total in place. Scroll down, let's get rid of all of these. So I'm just pointing and clicking. All right. Now once I've finished that, you'll notice we just see these columns across the screen. Now what I want to do, this is an open contracts by salesperson. That means I want to group this by salesperson. And to do that, I'm going to drag this little guy right here and drop him. Okay. Now each of the contracts are grouped by each of the sales reps that are in the system. Now you'll notice over here this contract totals uh, column that has some numbers in here so we've got some currency that we're going to deal with and I want to be able to do some math on that so what I'm going to do is say we're going to click right here the group summary footer and we're going to say always visible now what that allows me to do is to come out here to this little box and click on it and I can choose whether I want to sum it or average it count whatever the case may be in this case I want to go with sum and if I click that it'll do a sum and if I scroll down the page you'll see it summing that up for each of the sales reps okay now look at my screen and you're gonna notice that right here in this column I've got some quotes out there uh, I also have some that have been voided uh, so what I want to do is do some filtering here so this is truly only showing our open contracts so what I'm going to do is filter out any contracts that have a type of quote or any that have a status of voided or closed and to do that I'm going to click on the filter builder we're going to come in here and we're going to filter on type first so I'm going to say type does not equal and we're going to pick Q for quote. I don't want quotes in this. Now I'm going to add a different layer of the filter and this time we're going to filter on status and again I'm going to say does not equal V for voided and we're going to repeat that step except this time we're going to say does not equal C for closed. Okay so now we'll only see open contracts in their various status conditions and I'll go ahead and say apply and hit OK and you'll see that we got rid of all of those quotes on the screen we no longer show any of those on the voided uh, under the status column either now once we've got this in place there's a number of things that we can do from this screen if I wanted to go in and look at the particulars on any of one of these contracts let's just pick 1679 for example what I can do is from this screen I can see contract items that's what I'm seeing down here in my preview screen or in most cases I might want to know about invoice history as well and I can click here to see if that's ever been invoiced and in this case it hasn't been if I click on another one here's one 1674 where we show some invoice history and you can see some of your other preview options as well 
Now once you've got this view built, another thing you can do is go out and chart it. So let's chart this one by clicking on the chart. We're going to say open contracts by sales person. Okay, that's the name of our chart. Let's go ahead and start off with a bar chart and what they're going to do is go ahead and work off the contract total so in this case we're doing contract total and now I want to show what are we grouping by okay remember we grouped by salesperson uh, on the data grid page so that's what I'm going to group by here I'm going to say salesperson and now we see the total amounts for each one of these salespeople now if I want to I can sort this in either ascending or descending order by choosing the sort by option and in this case we're going to sort by contract total and since this is clicked on ascending we're working our way up smallest up to the largest as far as the volumes for each of the sales reps if I deselect this you'll see it reverses it and now we're going into descending order okay now once I've got my view and my chart everything the way I want it then what I can do is go in and save this setting as a new setting and I'm gonna say contracts by salesperson okay and we'll just save it now I've got the bulk of the work done let's say I wanted to create a specific report for each one of the sales reps in this case let's go with Harvey Earl Wright the way I could do that is to further define my filter here by going into the filter builder and now what I want to do is say salesperson equals and I'll pick Harvey Earl Wright and I'll go ahead and say OK and now what we see is Harvey's open contracts and I could save this as a setting as well and just put Harvey's open contracts and I could do that for each one of the reps okay so in effect what you could do is create a summary report that shows all of your contracts by salesperson and then each one of your salespeople could have their own open contracts report available just by modifying that original view just slightly to filter on each one of the sales reps names okay now the key part about this is this data is live data so as new contracts are created or as contracts close this screen will constantly be refreshing itself okay unlike a report where you have to print it out and it's a moment in time as to what the data looks like when that report was printed so this is live data and will constantly refresh as activities flow through your rental operations so that's how you go in and do an open contracts report uh, in BIE. I hope you get some use out of this. Thanks, folks.